Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. I know it's been a while since we put out a video, but we've been super busy behind the scenes here at the shop. But today we have a really special log we're gonna cut, but before we get into that, we have a couple announcements. So as you guys saw in all of our previous videos, we were always saying how we got our sawmill blades from a company called LA Cutting Products. LA Cutting Products didn't do anything wrong to us. They're a great company, but we have decided to switch over to Woodmiser Blades to get our sawmill blades directly from the source. We're still gonna get blades for our tools inside the shop from LA Cutting Products, but when it comes to the sawmill, we're only gonna get the sawmill blades directly from Woodmiser. As you can see, we've got the new Woodmiser Blades banner in the background. We've also added a couple other banners back here and it's looking pretty cool. Today for the log that we're gonna cut, I still have a 10 degree Woodmiser blade on the sawmill. We were recently cutting softwoods and that 10 degree blade is great for the softwoods. But if it starts to struggle in this special log, we'll switch over to a Woodmiser four degree double hard and I know that'll cut through this log like butter. Before we get started cutting on the log today, I wanna to mention the sponsor of today's video. Flow Pros Plumbing. If you guys are located in the Central Florida area and you need any kind of plumbing services done, I highly recommend you reach out to Flow Pros Plumbing. They're great people, great customer service, and they do a great job. Their contact information will be in the link in the description below. Now let's head over to the log and show you what we're gonna be working with today. The log we're gonna cut today is a monkey pod log. If you guys saw a couple videos back, we also cut one of these logs, and the title of that video is The Million Dollar Log That Took Us Two Years To Find. Today we're gonna to elaborate a little bit why it's called a million dollar log. So the monkey pod tree is native to South America. One of the most common places you'll find it is in Brazil in the rainforest. That's why it's also called the rainforest tree. The reason we called it the million dollar log is down there in South America and in Brazil, they're just cutting down these trees left and right. They don't really have restrictions like we do in North America when it comes to cutting down trees. So they're just decimating these rainforests and they're taking these monkey pod trees and they're turning them into beautiful slabs. They're taking those slabs and they're selling them to North America and places all over the world and they're making millions of dollars off of the wood. So that is why we called the log the million dollar log because it makes a ton of revenue and usually when you go into a restaurant here in North America, wherever it is in the United States, and you see a live edge slab table, most often or not, it's a monkey pod slab. So today we're gonna to get this slab up on the sawmill. We're gonna cut into it and I'm gonna show you the awesome designs and why these logs are worth so much money. Before we get started, we have to check our log for any metal using our Lumber Wizard 5 metal detector. Turn the bad boy on. All right, looks like this log is free of any metal. We're gonna grab it with the tractor and put it up on the sawmill. Spiders!
All right, we made a couple cuts. We got the top cut off already. That second cut, just skin the heartwood, but this third cut looks like it got right in the middle of the heartwood, so they're gonna be really beautiful slabs. We're gonna pull these slabs off and see what they look like. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Actually, for just skimming that hardwood, this is pretty. Pretty nice slab right here. Beautiful colors through there. Wow, that's nice. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Has some of that dark walnut coloration in the middle here. And this outer part is super white. So it makes that contrast really cool looking. Yeah, these are really nice slabs. As you guys can see, that 10 degree wood miser blade is leaving a really nice cut through this log. This monkey pod is a little bit harder of a species. So I was worried about the 10 degree blade, but it's cutting fine. There is a little bit of skipping here, but we should be able to finish this log with that 10 degree blade. If you guys own a sawmill and you are in need of any kind of blades, I highly recommend you head over to the link in the description below where you'll find all the awesome blades that Woodmiser has to offer. Now I'm gonna flip the log over and continue our two and a half inch cuts.
We just made our last cuts. The wood module blade cut through this log like butter. But as you can see on this last cut, there was a crack that started shooting straight through the log on both ends. That's pretty cool. Um, and I'm not worried about it because we are team super clear. So we'll fill this void with some epoxy and it'll make an awesome table. We're gonna pull these slabs off. We'll get them hosed down so you can see their true color and uh, we'll show you what we got. Go down, let go of this lip, this here. flip it, go. Ooh, it's cracked. I think that crack's actually gonna turn out pretty cool. Most people would be pretty bummed about that, but I think we can do some really cool stuff with the crack and any of these voids that we find. This area right here, there'll be a perfect spot to fill with epoxy. These are the two book match slabs from the center of the log. I'm gonna grab the hose, spray them down so you can see the true color. All right, ready for this? Look at that dark center in there in the heartwood, that is beautiful. We got some nice areas for epoxy in there. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. And as you can see, this is why we call Monkey Pod the million dollar log. You have this beautiful heartwood in the middle with the crazy contrast of the super white sapwood making these gorgeous, gorgeous slabs. These are two bookmatch slabs and most people would buy them as a set and make a cool river table down the middle. But I can't wait for us to dry these in our kiln and flatten them and see the finished product. If you guys own a sawmill and you're looking for sawmill blades, I highly encourage you to check out the link in the description below where you'll get a discount on your next blade purchase from Woodmiser. Big thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Flow Pros Plumbing. If you guys are located in the Central Florida area and you need any kind of plumbing services done, head over to the link in the description below where you'll find their contact info. Lastly, if you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section down below what you thought about these slabs. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. We hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.